I made the longest guns in Phantom Forces to answer the question that nobody asked, which is, does it matter? More importantly, I just think it's funny to actually build super tiny weapons and super big weapons in games, and Phantom Forces is the perfect contender for this. So what I've done is I've gone through every single category, and I have built what I believe to be the longest weapon in each one, and we're going to find out, does it actually make a difference on the weapon? Now, for our first weapon here, I was kind of surprised that it's the AN-94 with the R2 suppressor, but just by a very loose measurement, it honestly looks like it's just this. <laughs> I mean, it's an AN-94 with a suppressor. Really, it's not going to do all too much. If you like your AN-94, but you want it suppressed, this is fine. It's not really going to change the core of the weapon or anything. By the way, if you're curious, uh, the way that I'm measuring this is just by like kind of arbitrarily pointing it at the wall and then swapping between the different weapons to see like what sticks out further. And uh, yeah, it, it really does look like it is just going to be the AN-94 with a uh, R2 suppressor. Somehow it is longer than the M16A3 with a R2 suppressor. I, I don't know why. Now our next build, I, I really expected it to be basically anything but the P90 because the P90 is typically a very small and compact weapon. That's kind of the whole point of it but whenever you slap on a suppressor it gives you this really stupid barrel extension right here and then it also tacks on the actual suppressor itself so we are getting a, a very long boy out of this like really i was expecting like a mac 10 with like a carbine barrel or freaking like long barrel whatever maybe i was expecting the colt mars because this thing is pretty gargantuan you compare this right here to the p90 it is literally night and day this thing is so stupidly long i don't know why it's funny the whole the whole point of the weapon is super compactness and then you just yeah just take that away now, other than giving it like a super funny firing sound and just extending the model for your weapon, I don't think that there's much of a difference uh, as far as this goes to like a normal P90. I mean, it's not like a proper long barrel or anything. It's not going to give you any crazy like range performance. It's fine. It's a P90 with a suppressor and a very long barrel. <laughs> That's all that you can say about it. Yeah. Oh, the dreaded carbine category. What do you, what do you think before anything? Do you think it's going to be the longest weapon? You know, maybe maybe the freaking SR3M with like the the funny the funny uh, suppressor. Yeah, maybe that? No, it's um it's much worse than that. Yeah. Yeah, the dreaded 1858 carbine. I I hate this thing with a burning passion. I it, oh, I want to peel my head whenever I see this in Roblox. My god. Just just look at this thing. Why? You know, it, I mean, if, if you're rating this on, like, barrel to rest of the weapon, this has to be one of the longest in the game, right? This thing is just a tube. It's just a tube with a piece of wood. That's that's all that this is. <laughs> Look at it. It's it's so stupid. I, I hate I hate the 1858 carbine. Have, have, I, have I said that enough yet? Have I said enough that I hate the 1858 carbine over the last couple of years? I don't know if I've said it enough. I'm gonna keep saying it. Let me put, like, any red dot on this. Maybe that'll Maybe that'll do something for us. Probably not, though. This thing is bad. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I know it's a skill issue, but I still hate it. I I'm very surprised I got a double kill there. I mean, for the most part, again, yeah, it's just an, ex an extra long tube on the freaking <laughs> 1858 carbine. It's so ugly. It's so dumb. I don't even know why this weapon's in the game. Nice. <sighs> Man, I do man, do I hate this thing. So for the LMGs, I was really expecting it to be something kind of like the M60, but I was really surprised to see just how small the M60 is compared to like literally anything else. Like I was really hoping maybe it maybe it'd be the MG42 with like a suppressor, right? Uh no, it's it's the RPK12 with a uh, R2 suppressor. Yeah, this thing is like you can barely fit it on the screen. It is just ridiculous. Much like the SMGs, I was kind of expecting it to be anything but the RPK12. I I just kind of don't think this this thing is really like in the consciousness of a lot of people it's definitely not for me i'll tell you that but maybe if we actually put some attachments on this maybe maybe it can actually get some use out of it this this thing looks ridiculous on my screen it really really does <laughs> did i really just get two headshots and a body shot and do 50 damage uh, i that i that cannot be right i must have hit somebody else you know i used up pretty much all my ammo didn't get a single kill that that sounds about right Ah, oh, come on. I got that I got that triple kill pre-fire at least though. I mean, other than presumably making my weapon stick out a mile before my character even does, um I don't think this is really going to do much of anything else other than just be a suppressor on the RPK12. I think I think common sense kind of dictates that. I am not having much luck with this weapon. They could probably see me an hour before I even enter that room anyway. For the shotguns, I was expecting the Stevens DB with like an extended barrel or something like that, but there's no extended barrel for this. I don't know why I thought there was. I'd maybe throw on a muffler. Maybe this is the longest, right? Maybe the maybe a KS23M with like funny harpoon conversion and stuff. Uh, maybe. No. Mm -mm, no. It's uh, 
It's the Spaz 12 with the PBS4 suppressor making it literally barely even appear on your screen. Literally, if this was any further, it would be poking through the camera right now. I do like suppressors on shotguns. Typically in Phantom Forces, the shotguns are relatively loud. Yeah, kind of like that. That was that was pretty loud. But I did not expect them to be such like a, a game changer in terms of extending a barrel. I figured that pretty much all the weapons were going to need like long barrels for it to actually make sense. As we'll see later, there are definitely some uh, some very interesting attachments that extend the length of the weapons. But really, it's fine. It's just a Spaz 12. But yeah, this literally sticks off the side of your screen. It is gargantuan. And I even put the full stock on for extra effect. Now, next, we technically have two because I don't quite know how long these are. This one literally, like, pokes the camera. Like, this this upsets my eyes to have a point this close to my camera. Now, the way that you can throw a bayonet on the Mosin, if you don't already know, is by either using the Loudner or the Halbeck device, which the Halbeck device is most definitely not going on my Mosin. So, we get this, which sticks out nearly to the end of your screen. Now, it does make your weapon obscenely loud of course but i think uh i think it's great i think it's fine I, i'm a big mosin guy so i guess in my opinion the louder the better i did just talk about how shotguns are way too loud but uh th this this is different okay i still can't look at that look at how far to the side of my screen that goes we're definitely getting into like annoyingly long territory at this point but of course if we really want we can get longer than this mosin right here because it is it is time to take a look at the uh oh boy oh boy the one that i think like the mosin looks like it's a little bit longer but the ntw20 extends out back further so and it also just kind of like barely fits on your screen whenever you use the heavy barrel which honestly is something i didn't even think of there's no suppressor for the ntw20 it's just something i've never thought about before but there's just not look at look at this it just pokes through the wall oh now this you can definitely feel you could definitely feel how sluggish this is right here all right let's let's have a seat let's do some work with this there we go yeah oh yeah ah uh, i just love it there's something so magical about using an anti-material rifle on people in video games of course because you'd never do that in real life right you'd never you never it's, it probably seems like a war crime to use anti-material rifles on people the stock scope really is kind of bad it's the the lines are very thick on this and it does not zoom as far as i'd like but it gets the job done, as you can see. Extendo long silly barrel. Now, I am going to talk about a secondary here in a moment that is the longest in the game. However, I would like to give a quick honorary mention to something that I really was hoping to include in this video, and that is going to be the BFG, because typically the de facto thing back in the day is just throw a heavy barrel on the BFG, and you've got a ridiculously long weapon, but it has been overshadowed by the NTW-20. Funny though, it still is. Now, we can't actually make this longer than the long barrel by throwing on APB. S4 suppressor, which you can see stretches it out just a wee bit further off to the side of your screen right there. It just doesn't kind of hit the same though, to be honest, as heavy barrel. But again, it basically just gets the job done. That's really all that you need from something like this. So let's get into what the longest secondary in all of Phantom Forces actually is. Now for the secondaries, you can probably imagine that it's going to be a revolver, which yes, of course it is. It's going to be the Executioner unlocked at rank 137 with the Taurus barrel and Taurus stock, allowing, to turn, allowing for your revolver to turn basically into a carbine. If he killed me with that melee, I would have just gone to bed. Now, of course, I think that this is probably going to be fine. More than anything, it's just going to be an extended revolver. Unfortunately, with absolutely horrendous ADS time compared to its uh, carbine counterpart, the jury. I, I, I get them all confused. They're all different names. I believe it's the jury. Oh, yes. Absa freaking lootly, dude. Oh, I don't know. There's too many footsteps. I don't know where to look. Those iron sights are kind of kind of cute, too. Oh, dude, the, the, the one tabs that this thing is so satisfying. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I like this. This is, this is fun. This is very, very fun. I'm normally not a huge revolver guy, especially in FPS games, but this, this is nice. This is a fun revolver right here. But yes, I did dig for quite some time, especially in the carbine category, because I definitely did not want to use this. <laughs> Absolutely not. But I couldn't really find stuff longer than this for each weapon category. But of course, there is one more category that technically is a weapon that we can go over. 
And that is, of course, going to be the melee category, which uh, sadly, even though I'm happy I just got my first ever customizable Karambit, we are going to have to go to something very nightmarish. Now, you might think it's something like the Noob Slayer. You might think it's something like the Ice Morn, right? Maybe even the World Buster. This thing is gargantuan. But unless I am otherwise mistaken, I do believe the longest melee and potentially weapon in the entire game is going to be the Zweihander. Yeah, the Zweihander. I love to use this weapon. It's so cool. All right, I've been officially banned from Germany for that uh, very bad accent. Now, this does straight up just stick out from the side of your screen. This is just off your screen. Yeah, and you are extremely slow with this because this is... Ah, uh, this is going to be awesome, actually. Come here, little man. Let me chop you up. <laughs> <laughs> the fact I even got two kills in a row. How was that a backstab? Editor Steven here. I actually forgot two categories. Oh, we're going to come back and finish these real quick. So for the longest battle rifle, it is going to be the AK-12BR. Just absolutely barely beating out the AG-3 in terms of overall length. They're honestly, for all practical purposes, about the same within probably a pixel or two, give or take. But yes, so once again, it is basically just going to be the base weapon with an R2 suppressor. And yeah, it, it works basically just fine. I do like the new AK-12BR though. It's 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 very, very, very cool. And for the DMRs, once again, just barely beating out another one, that being the SKS, we have the longest weapon being the SA-58 SPR. Though it has haunted me for the last couple of videos that I've uploaded, it once again, for the third time, makes its great return. God, every time, every time I use this thing, I get more and more mad at it. Every time, I'm saying. This long boy suppressor is not really doing too much for me. Which, yes, who could have guessed, once again, is the R2 suppressor. Heard you, heard you being super loud down there. Ooh, there's more of you. Ugh. But yeah, I think you you get the uh, general point here. But yeah, this is, this is, I think, the epitome of long weapons in Phantom Forces. If there are any that I somehow missed, if, if there is just like, I I'm going to feel really dumb, you know? But hey, feel free to correct me in the comment section below. I did look for quite a while. There is a chance that I missed something or that maybe I missed an attachment, something like that. But I do believe that we have gone over the longest weapons in Phantom Forces. With that said, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing with channel notifications on to get notified of all new videos. At the very least, please subscribe to try and ease the pain of having to use the 1858 carbine for quite some time. This thing is not easy for me to get kills with. But again, with that said, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And check out my Phantom Forces playlist to see other videos just like this one. Peace, dudes.